connected. And then offlane, it's Scarf Mage plus Venge what, versus what did, a Slark. What did that Doom pick up? What, what uh, creep did he actually manage to get? Ooh, we got an Elf Wolf. Yeah, okay, so... That's everything. So you're actually bringing in more aura to that mid lane. Yeah. Draw aura. top lane. Uh, yeah. Dro is not having a great time on top. In fact, Kuro, well, this he'll is... go into the tree line. FN needs to play this perfectly. He's only got the aura. Kuro's in a little bit too deep in the tree lines. FN salving up, and Kuro tries to cut down, but FN's already there. You can ignite all you want, but Kuro will not be winning this one. And first blood will go the way of the Dro Ranger, who's playing the off lane here with the Witch Doctor. Yeah, he definitely should have dived into the trees. At that point, with that lot much time on his ignite, it's just so hard to get the kill, especially because FN had a salve. Way too greedy, and that's going to give Draw Ranger a very fast boots, which is even more advantage against the Axe here. Lucky for Mag on the bottom lane, too, he was able to get back behind the T1 tab before the VS and Skyrath could try and kill him off. And but then they're going at him again. The Maledict, nice Gus pushing it back. Mind Control, so low. it's only a level 1 Maledict, but he's lost a lot of life here. So I don't know if that Axe is 100% okay. Uh, it's going to be kind of close. I think he'll live. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. And you'd have to sit around for two minutes not taking damage. It's just so much easier to suicide and buy the TP. Uh, this bottom lane is working so well for Liquid. Metubberman already at 12 for like 13 for 3 CS against Mag, who's just shut down to 2-0. Looks like it's uh, Vega's turn. Liquid had this happen to him before, where you just have that one melee hero you try and throw on the bot lane to try and tank through it all. Seeing just dies too quickly. Miracle's now on the run, Infernal Blade. A lot of burn damage in the last swing we'll get in from FNG. So OD will fall. Roaming Doom, like level 1, with an Orb of Venom, and it was amazingly effective. At first we thought it was stupid, why is this Doom running at us? But then he would just tank tower hits and not die and kill somebody with a couple crits. It was pretty amazing. How do you manage your mana when you do that? Like, it looks like at the moment, it. FN, uh, Paralyzing Count's gonna bounce out back over to Kuro, but he still kept himself in range. Thanks to the call as well from Mind Control. FN has no way to get back off the lane while Miracle dies in the mid. Trying to imprison and keep the OD out, but he already hit with his Infernal Blade and did the damage required. Vega don't see it, the movement though. They do have an Observer Ward just a little bit further up inside the lane. And this is now going to see the movement. So Ogre's yep, up, and yeah, so finally Division's up, but uh, Miracle. Trouble. And these Shackles is just too easy initiation. Team Liquid, they're flying in to help, but Miracle, he can't bottle in time, so he'll go down. Mind Control, too far away to also get the call, but Tubberman. Now he goes oh, yeah, to the Sun on FNG, but with a quick shackle combined with the Maldic. But Tubberman is 100% dead now. Mind Control trying to find some kind of answer, but now he may go down too. Liquid, one by one, they run in and give Iceberg a triple kill in the mid lane. Dude, there's just so much damage in that lane between the Drow aura as well as the Pack Leader's aura. Creep wave pulled off to the side, so the Creep wave didn't push in too far. Man, Vega didn't have to get out of position, but FNG running invis. He didn't see mind control, or did he? He flinched like he did. He's got Ogre also moving down the lane, so that's going to scout it out there. But over on the side shot, Bulba. Maledict over on him. Nice and early again from Seema, but they need the damage to be uh, like applied. And FNG able to do that. Slices with that Infernal Blade from the back line. So Skyrim's Mage will drop on back. Battling against Mind Control. The arrows from FN inside oh, the tree lines. The swap is out, but Matumberman. Oh, well, he'll be in the middle of three now. Thanks to that swap. Trying to save his teammate and get some kind of rebuttal. But they give a double kill to the Dro Ranger this time around with a three for one trade off fight. Probably do an axe chop here on the courier. He saw it pass originally. Goodbye, courier. Oh, look, this is it. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> he stood at the worst place there with the trees, but they get the courier. Well, that, speed. Yeah, that Dying bonus. Dying. It's actually allowing them to run over to the bottom lane. There's TPs coming into both towers from both Vega and Team Liquid. They want to try and defend this bottom lane. The Doom's over on the top, and he already got the stun off. So Metubberman has to back out of this fight just for the moment. But when the moment is maybe enough for Vega to take the victory. The seal's on Mag, so he couldn't get the crush off. This Miracle slowly stealing that intel. And the Death Ward back up again from Zima, oh. combining with the crush. They just obliterate. The OD as Miracle oh, again, Iceberg, and he has a high success rate in these shackles this game. And Kuro's got no way to get away from it. Liquid, they really want to try and fight that one. They brought their team, and they could not get the advantage. Yeah. It, she doesn't usually need the Shadow Blade to initiate, so you could use it just to offset somebody's damage temporarily. Kind of the way that it was introduced in the first place. Silver Edge disable maybe, passes. Maybe that's the reason damage. why. Maybe that's the reason why oh, he never got happening. the aura in the first place. <laughs> oh, Invis Iceberg. Iceberg.
Well, he's there, but they got the sentry oh. ward down with a missing flare. Iceberg is going to burn. A big kill goes the way of the Skyrise Mage, but can they get more? Seymour Force out of his ultimate mind control, combining it with the long range hits from FN, plus the board damage from previous. They do find that kill. Axe buys back. He's trying to come back in to bring that extra control, and they need it. FNG, he's out of the Aegis, the Immortal, but still being brought down by Miracle. Oh, trying to kill that intelligence, but a, a die back from the Axe. They might find more, but really, it's a support. That's what they pick up. If they can catch out FN, it's worth it, but he's back into the Shadow Blade. And again, with no reveal from Team Liquid. They, the they just can't keep the chase going, yeah. not when he runs up the, up the river. Because he got that, that kill to start with. He got a huge injection of money, so he's now got the double nulls. Yeah, he's actually almost done with the veil. He's only about 400, 500 away. Could be a fight mid, though. Yeah, they're prepping up for it. Oh, the top swaps them down. And now, can they actually find the kill with that Mystic Flare? It's enough damage. Again, Liquid find the pick up, oh, but the Shackle on Mind Control as well as Miracle. They just couldn't walk away in time. So they've lost at least one of them. Miracle comes out of his own imprisonment. He'll go down the extra crush, holding the top of him in a position. And Vega, wow. the perfect controlled fight. Once the fight starts, if Liquid's winning it, it's going to be very hard for Vega to get away. Yeah. When you can use swap for both defensive and aggressive in the same in the space of the same fight. Yeah. Well, here they go. Mag jumps in. Perfect crush on the top of them. The Doom on the mind control. The disables that can fly out. The focus fire damage. But some of them swaps Koro in. Thanks to his extra stun, they will find their revenge kill onto the Doom. But the death one is on Koro. It's on Bulba and Bulba barely lives. That was really close. He gets Veil though, so when he comes back in this fight, he's still going to be really strong. Matoma Man doesn't die either. Not terrible. Trading Doom, two heroes for one when they're behind. Tanks in into the melee. What are you going to do? So scared to go on FN because he has Aegis here. They're just not even going to bother. Yep. Well, the Glyphid, I guess. Fortify at the last moment. FN. Are you going to glimmer him? But they know. Like, they know they can see it. FN. Oh, they what a force. him all the way up to the tier 4 towers. Burns the Aegis. The crush on the front lines. But Tumbleman, he's being controlled. The Doom's over a miracle. And now you may have lost your Aegis hero. But the cost oh, is just well him. worth it for Vega. They force Liquid all the way back into their fountain. Maybe a little bit too deep on the dive here from Vega. But with no OD, no Axe, they start the power to defend this. But Tumbleman's meant to be their damage. He needs to get a swap or something. But he doesn't have a back up just yet. So they chase FNG into the tree lines with the extra veil on him. FNG will drop, but the Dro and Wind Ranger have already taken care of the mid. Now they're taking care of the bottom lane while doing the on the side. They've got to kill the FN here. It would be really beneficial for their net worth. Three seconds to a swap here. They've got Wave of Terror for Vision. The Shackle lands. Oh, they. That, that's enough. That's enough. They have to back out of this one. Oh, Force off really Kuro forward and Vega are TPing out. They got what they came for. Try and find an opening. This could be great. If they can get Slaughter. This is actually the, the most I've seen Vegas split up. But they got an Observer Ward and Sentry on the hillside, so there's no easy way to just wrap around. The uh, Drow Ranger, the the Ranger is the easier target. They push him in, the ward is down, but FN's already on the sidelines. A full minute with no buyback. Can they get more? They need more. They need to find something. They push Miracle forward. He's not in range of anyone. FNG, so TP is out in the tree line, and they just run it. They leg it. Miracle, he's got another push in two seconds time. This will bring him in range of some of Vega, but who can he get in the imprisonment? He wants Iceberg, but they turn the damage output. Miracle's almost gone, but he's staying up. Now the death ward kicks him from Seema. He's in this. They can't fight, they can't see, but Tumbleman will go down. And Team Liquid, they really wanted to get a follow-up, but they just got turned on so hard, and now it's Mag's turn. In through the rear, blink to crush, stopping Koro, stopping Mind Control, an extra bash just for good measures. Iceberg's not too healthy. The orb attack, it is going to be enough to actually find the kill. Him almost, it was 1340 gold Skyrim Mage got for that kill. Now they can try and focus on Mag. The sprint up will wear off now, however. Support returning back to fight. The paralyzing go cast in. going again. The Doom's on Koro. Bulba can't run fast enough. The Scorched Earth combined up with the Amplification is enough damage to kill him. And Koro, now he is on the run. Seema. Got a gem too. Yeah, he cannot lose that. If he can actually get out of this one. But what does okay. he do? He has to wait for the paralyzing cast. Seema, they were both baiting it. Now the TP has to start from Koro. Oh. That thick skin, he won't survive. What? Koro will drop. Seema plays it perfectly and manages to get the gem into his own hands. Uh, I think you already win. Yeah, like, you, cl you, you clean everything with that bounce. Yeah, especially with the Frost Arrow split. You can hit multiple heroes with it. So good. Matumpum and his bait. Liquid. They're trying to wrap around. Luckily for them, there's no Observer Ward watching this. 
they can uh, swap But they need the opening now. Miracle revealed. Mag waiting in the tree lines. There goes just swap on FNG. They commit with the Mystic Flare. They'll find that kill. So no Doom. But the oh, Tear the Ward is ripping him out. Iceberg gets the double kill from it. But this is that work that's just being done. Matoman can't get away. Or oh, maybe he can with the swap. Bulba <laughs> is sacrificing. Oh, no, the power shot hits it. There we go. That may be the final nail in the coffin. Team Liquid, an ultra kill for Iceberg. And they have nothing left to really answer. Double buybacks available, but... What a power shot. Absolutely oh. securing the kill on the enemy carry. He's got 50 seconds till he comes alive. At least he has a little spirit illusion. I don't know what to call this, but it's just not the same as the real hero. And that's going to be the second Rax falling. Just absolutely clean execution from Vega here. They did sacrifice Vega's the waiting. Doom, but... They want to fight the swap out, but Koro, the shackle! That, Iceberg is gone full two legs in this game. He is shackling everything inside, and GG is the call. Vega will put a CIS team into the grand final of the Face of Dota 2 Invitational. And even if they didn't win this game, it was looking good. Empire looked amazing yesterday. Vega looked great today and yesterday. Yeah. They, I would love to see them. I said this yesterday, but I would love to see them get to Boston. They've been playing really good. We've only seen them play best of ones here, but man, beating some of the top teams in the world. Uh, Liquid also having some issues getting back into regular form, but Vega absolutely deserved that win. Yeah. Great strat. Their lane presence was amazing. Their lane rotations early game were solid. Their itemization late game was great. It's like, Everything just worked great for them.